All right, BFit Nation, welcome back to a special Motivational Monday. Uh, I am BFit Ambassador Roy Montes, and I'm joined by my guest, Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry. How are you doing today, ma'am? Hey, good morning, Roy. We're here for another Monday workout. Okay. Yes, we are. And not just any Monday workout. We are actually, uh, we have a special resistance-based workout available for you today. All right, team? So if you have any dumbbells, if you have any kettlebells, if you have anything to add resistance to today's workout, go ahead and grab those now. Grab your towel, grab your water. It's going to get uh, intense here, right? We have uh, four different resistance-based movements, full body movements that we're gonna work through for today. So again, uh, as you find your space, as you work through your space, you don't need a lot of space, but uh, go ahead and clear that space out and uh, get ready uh, the way it's gonna work for today. We have our timing breakdown of 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four movements, four resistance-based movements, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. Again, team, that's 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. Um, we will go ahead and demonstrate each of the four movements that we have available for you today. We'll go into some dynamic stretching to get our bodies prepared and ready to work, and then we'll jump into the workout and we will be off to the races, all right, team? But once again, it's a great resistance-based workout. We're targeting uh, specific muscle groups from our chest to our shoulders, uh, core engagement as well. Uh, lower body work, glutes, hamstrings, quads, uh, uh, full body workout for today. So good. Uh, grab that towel, grab that water, and let's get ready to work. All right, Sergeant Brady. I know um, I know we're ready to go on our end, so let's jump uh, straight into some demonstrations, okay? Uh, Sergeant Barry, uh, we'll go ahead and demonstrate uh, movement number one. I'll go two, she'll go three, and uh, I'll, we'll go four together. <laughs> All right, so we're going to grab a pair of dumbbells for movement number one, okay? We have a sumo squat to an upright row. So as you're getting settled in, we'll go ahead and demonstrate the movements here, uh, and then we will get ready to roll. So sumo squat, so perfectly correct here. Feet are wider than shoulder width apart. Toes are flared out a little bit just for comfort level. So Sergeant Barry is gonna go down into her squat, but hands and palms are gonna be facing the back of the room here. So down into your squat as those dumbbells come down, perfectly correct, driving up through the heels up to the chest, and as you come up in one fluid motion, you're into an upright row, really activating the shoulders here as Sergeant Barry is doing, nice controlled movement, and then you're gonna work back down into that sumo squat, and then into the upright row, okay? Be mindful that what you may be able to lift in a sumo squat uh, may be different than what you can lift into that upright row, utilizing our uh, front of our shoulders and our shoulder heads for that upright row, so uh, be cautious and be mindful of that, but otherwise, uh, into your sumo squat and then upright row, okay? That's gonna be movement number one. Movement number two, we're gonna stick with a pair of dumbbells here. Uh, we're gonna take a seat. So a little two for one action here. We have a chest press off of the floor with a glute bridge. So feet are gonna be shoulder width apart. We're gonna go ahead and recline back on the floor. So palms are facing the front of the room since it is a chest press. We're gonna extend our hips up a glute engagement here. So your glutes, hamstrings, quads should be activated. Relatively straight line from your knees all the way down to your neck. Again, hands are facing the front of the room. From here, you're gonna drop down into your chest press, lightly tapping the floor, and then you're pressing right back up, okay? Uh, be mindful of our breathing cadence as well. Nice deep breath on the way down, exhaling on the way up. So again, a little bit of a chest, shoulder, tricep activation as well as a lower body activation with that glute bridge, okay? That's gonna be movement number two. We have 40 seconds to work through with that. From there, we're gonna move into a single arm, I'll stay down here, a single arm clean into a squat with an overhead press. So a lot of different moving pieces here, uh, but we're gonna first get into our squat position. So feet shoulder width apart. Dumbbell is going to travel through our legs here with our squat position. We're gonna clean it, so using our lower body to gain momentum, drive up into that clean front rack position, right? Then we're gonna absorb that weight into that squat, and from here, use that momentum driving up through our lower body into that overhead press, okay? A lot of moving parts here, but when you kind of divide it into that movement separately, kind of makes sense here. So a clean into a squat into an overhead press. We have 20 seconds to work with one arm, and then we have 20 seconds to work 
on that alternate arm. All right, team? That's going to be uh, movement number three. And movement number four, a bit of a fun movement here. We are in a high plank position here for movement number four. All right? So remember with our high plank, our hands are going to be stacked underneath our shoulders, our hips are square to the floor, feet shoulder width apart. We're going to work through three different uh, three different arm extensions here for movement number four, okay? So we have two reps of each of these. We're going to cycle through them. Move, uh, two reps of arm reaches, two, reach, uh, two reps of shoulder taps, so alternate hand to alternate shoulder, and then two reps of toe taps. So you're going to go back into that high pike position, Reach for your toe. If it's not your toe, reach for your shin. If it's not your shin, reach for your knee, okay? We're going to come back to that high uh, plank position and then back into our arm reaches, okay? If it's not up at head level, just a few inches above your arms, okay? And then we're going to go into shoulder taps once again, cycle through. If it's not your shoulder, maybe it's your forearm, your elbow, your wrist, something of that nature. And then back into our toe taps. All right, a cool little sequence there out of a high plank position to round out our workout here uh, for today's workout. <laughs> Sound good? It looks awesome. <laughs> it looks awesome. I think it looks like a lot of fun. Uh, again, a uh, pair of dumbbells, a single dumbbell, um, can get you through to a lot, of, uh, a lot of these movements. If you only have one dumbbell, that's okay. Uh, we can do the uh, sumo squat just with one dumbbell as well. Uh, I'll go ahead and um, modify that as we go. But uh, again, those are the four movements for today. Uh, again, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. Um, again, if you're joining us on Facebook as we are right now, go ahead, us, go ahead and leave us a comment. Let us know where you're joining from. Let us know where you're watching from. Let us know where you're engaging with us from. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. I have my page up right now, so if you have any questions, any comments, any modifications, uh, go team go, uh, <laughs> be fit nation, leave us a note and uh, we'll make sure and call it out as we go through our workout right here. So uh, again, as we get settled in, grab that towel, grab that water. We're gonna jump directly into some dynamic stretching and then uh, directly into our workout team, okay? So great to have you in for today's BeFit Live workout. Let's see here. Carla, good morning. Jerome, again, Jerome, join us, I think, uh, three, three, four weeks in a row now. So great to see you, Jerome. All right, Carla, good morning as well, uh, once again. Um, so I hope you're ready for today's resistance training workout. Again, we're looking at building up strength week by week, a little at a time. So happy to have you in for today. All right. Well, with that, let's get started with some warm-ups, okay? Um, we do have a lot of lower body work, so we're looking at really opening up our hips. Uh, sometimes we're seated for a long period of time uh, throughout the weekend, throughout the work hours and office periods. So uh, hips can be the tightest point uh, of our body. So we're looking at really uh, engaging and, and, and opening up that lower body. So let's go into a dynamic quad stretch for the first movement here. We're gonna take that right leg, we're gonna extend it back towards our hips. We're gonna take that opposite arm and we're gonna extend it up and overhead, right? Pushing those hips forward, arm goes up for a little bit of upper back shoulder mobility work here. Trying to get some blood flow in and pushing those hips forward. You can go ahead and alternate at your own pace or you can stay in the movement for a little bit longer as needed, right team? Also take advantage of your breathing as well. So nice deep breaths in, exhaling, keeping our heart rate under control. Speaking of heart rate, uh, this is the final workout, the closing out heart health month of, uh, of February. Uh, <laughs> so uh, it's a great time to really celebrate our active bodies by a little bit of movement, just a little bit of movement every day and joining us, Be Fit Nation. Uh, we can be there every step of the way, every rep of the way. Last one here, pushing those hips forward, arm goes up a little higher. All right, team, good job. Come to the top of the workout space here. We're gonna take one leg. We're gonna extend it back into that reverse lunge. We're gonna take our, if our right leg is back, our right arm is up and we are reaching over to our left. Feeling that stretch in your lats. Bring it back up. Right leg is forward, left leg comes back. We are down into our reverse lunge 
with a left arm overhead reach. So a reverse lunge with a reach here. Nice controlled movements, drop those hips back, reach it over to the left and to the right. Good. Coming back up to center. Again, these can be as quick or as slow of a tempo as you need. We could really run through it like so, or really set in. Just depends on how comfortable you feel today. All right, last one there. Let's go into a wide stance here. Um, again, we have some sumo work here, so this is uh, perfect for that sumo stance, but a little bit wider than shoulder width apart is where your feet are gonna lay. Toes are fixed forward. From here, we're gonna shift our weight over to the right and then to the left. A lot of lower body blood flow should be rushing to our legs here. You should feel this stretch in the inside of your thigh. Hips, again, opening up, pushing those hips back. By the way, that's gonna be your lateral lunge. Nothing too aggressive here. We're just working on warming up that lower body, warming up our hips, getting some blood flow moving to our body. Telling ourselves we're getting ready to work. <laughs> All right, team. Shake things out as you need. Uh, and again, with some mid to upper back and some shoulder work here, let's hit on a little bit of YTWs to finish this out here. So a little bit of overhead work. We're working on shoulder mobility, mid to upper back, and um, some activation here with that upper body into our YTW. So we're gonna set ourselves up, feet shoulder width apart. This is gonna be centered here. From here, we're gonna extend out into a big Y formation with our arms. That looks like a Y. All right, back to center here, looking at a T formation. Thumbs are gonna be facing the back of the room here. You're gonna squeeze those shoulder blades together. Good, back to center here and a W, right? You can feel that stretch. This is where you show off your biceps. This is where you show off your biceps, yes, yes. Back to center here, big Y. Again, shoulder mobility, shoulder work here with a smile. Big T, <laughs> good, big W. Cycle through one more time, a little quicker, Y. T, W, last one here, Y, T, and a W. That is not, that's a YMCA. <laughs> there it is, team. All right, grab that towel, grab that water. We are gonna get prepared here by setting our timer. Again, 40 seconds of work. If you're just joining us, BFit Nation, we have a great resistance-based workout available for you today. So you are um, not late to the game here. Grab that towel, grab that water, grab any resistance you have. If you don't have any resistance, that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and make those nice strong fists and go through those same uh, movements that we have available for today, all right? Um, so again, uh, good morning, good morning. Um, all right, team, let's go ahead and set our timer here. Again, uh, movement number one is a sumo squat to an upright row. Movement number two is a on the floor chest press with a glute bridge. Uh, movement number three, single cling to a squat to an overhead press. 20 seconds on each arm, and movement number four is that high plank arm reach circuit, if you will. So again, let's get the clock started here. In 10 seconds, we are up. Grab uh, a pair of bells here. We are up in five seconds here. Up in three, two, one, and let's go, team. 40 seconds on the clock here, sumo squat into our upright row. All right, try to keep those dumbbells together, and you can go at your own pace, right? You can Set back, set down, or go as quickly as you need. All right, we are right on time here. Look at that, 20 seconds, halfway through. All right, most important thing here with those feet are nice and wide. You're gonna feel that activation in the lower part of your glute here when you sit back, drive up, and into that shoulder work, right? Last five seconds here. Out in three, two, one, and time, good job. 20 seconds to recover here. We are dropping on the floor here with our chest press. So we're gonna take a nice seat here. You can stick with the same dumbbells or scale up depending on your fitness level. We're gonna recline back, feet shoulder width apart, into that glute bridge. We are up in three, two, one. All right, take 40 seconds of work here into our chest press. A little bit of cues here as we work through our chest press, all right? Feet, again, shoulder width apart, knees are shoulder width apart. You want a relatively straight line from your knees 
all the way down to your neck. So glute activation, think about your glutes firing up and keeping you nice and stable during that glute bridge. Your palms are facing the front of the room here, controlling our weight on the way down. 12 seconds here. Exhaling as you drive those dumbbells up. Last five. Out in three, two, one. Good job. All right, 20 seconds of recovery here, dropping to one dumbbell. Good job. That was a long 40 seconds. That was, <laughs> that's a long 40 seconds. In a quick 20 seconds. <laughs> All right, team, five seconds here, and we have a clean to a squat to an overhead press. A lot of uh, movement here going on. So find that foot placement, shoulder width apart. We are working here into our squat, driving up into that clean. Control that squat, and then you're into an overhead press. All right, a lot of moving pieces here. Find that pace that works for you. I skip my squats. Out in two, one. Let's think about rotating arms here for the second part of our 40 seconds of work. Left arm seems a little bit more <laughs> challenging. Good. Out into your squat. <clears throat> Last three here. Last rep here, finish us out wherever we are. All right, team, good job. I like to say the first round we learn it, the second round we own it. <laughs> high plank here, so let's settle in to our space. High plank, remember two arm reaches, two shoulder taps, and then two toe taps. All right, team, coming up in two, one, high plank here, right arm extends, left arm extends, right shoulder tap, left shoulder tap, High pike, reaching for that opposite or opposite foot there. All right, cycle back in. Again, most important part here, try to keep your core nice and tight. So our hips stay square to the floor. Going at our own pace here. Again, if we need to modify, let's shorten the distance of our reaches. There we go. Last three seconds here. Out in two, out in one. All right, team, 60 seconds of recovery work here. Standing up nice and tall, look at that. Good round, good round. Good first round here, Deep Nation. Again, let us know in the comments uh, how you enjoyed the first round. We like to say the first round, we're always learning about the movements, okay? Listen for those cues, really finding our form, finding our breathing cadence finding how our body is gonna react for today's workout. All right, team, 30 seconds here. Again, 30 seconds to recover here. So grab that water. Think about scaling up. This is a great time to really think about reading our bodies where we're at for today. Let's think about scaling up this next round, right? Let's think about a little bit, bit of a progressive overload here by scaling up in weight during throughout each round. 12 seconds here. With that, I'm gonna grab my weight. <sighs> All right, team, five seconds here, sumo stance, feet a little wider than shoulder width apart, hands are facing you, and we are working. 40 on the clock here, right? Make sure we drop down, toes, our knees are going to the direction of our toes here, drive up, there's that breathing. 20 seconds here, good. 18 here, keeping that chest up as we drop down into our sumo squat. Good, last 10. Good, out in five. Y'all know the drill here. Last two, one. All right, team, good job. <laughs> All right, keeping with a pair of bells here, we have our chest press into that glute bridge. All right, team. Five seconds here. We are up and running in two, one. 40 on the clock here. Lifting those hips, engaging our glutes, controlling our weight on the way down and on the way up, right? Squeezing at the top, leaving a bit of a gap in between your dumbbells. As a good little cue here with your chest press, Think about an arrow formation at that bottom point, right? Rather than a T formation. That's gonna be a lot more comfortable on your shoulders. 
Five seconds here, team. Keep it up. Good job. You can see it. And recover. Good work. Dropping down here. Woo. 40 on, 20 off. Back into our cleans here. Clean squat overhead press. Coming up in three, two. All right, team, down into our clean. Let's try and find a quicker tempo to work through for today, or for this round, rather. Again, 20 seconds on our left arm, 20 seconds on our right arm, driving up into that clean. Last rep here, then we'll switch. Good. Switch over, drive up, clean. Again, with that squat, keep your chest up as well. Try to keep your chest up so your chest should be pointing, uh, rather facing towards the front of the room rather than the floor. Out in two, one. Finish out the rep for us and we recover. <laughs> had to finish that one out. We had to, we had to. All right, high plank position here. Again, we're gonna work through that circuit of reaches, arm reaches, shoulder taps, toe taps. Coming up in two, one, high plank, here we go. Right arm extends out, left arm extends out. Alternate shoulder taps here with your arms and then piking all the way up. A little bit of a downward dog, if you will. <laughs> Good job, team, keep that core nice and tight. Again, our hands, Primarily, are stacked underneath our shoulders. Taking a time as you need. That navel gets pushed back towards our spine. Nice and tight here. Out in three, two, one. Slow count here and recover. <laughs> Good job. Two rounds in the book here. Halfway. Halfway there. So we are just getting warmed up. Yeah. We were just getting... <laughs> I'm a little warmed up. We were a little warmed up. <laughs> Hydration here. Take the time to hydrate. Right? Take the time to really catch our breath here. Get some oxygen into our bodies here. Right? Um, again, any modifications, let us know. We are happy that you are here, uh, B-Fit Nation. Lee, interesting combo. Which one, Lee? Is it the, uh, is it the single clean to squat to press? Is it the shoulder tap circuit, if you will? Let me know here. Patrick, good morning. 15 seconds here. We're gonna find that weight. Let's stick with my pair here. Eight seconds here. Squat, sumo squat to our upright row. Up in two, one. Here we go, team. As we're working through our sumo squat to upright row, uh, some of the benefits, right? 40 seconds of work, 15, uh, 20 seconds of rest here. Short amount of time for recovery work in between our sets really elevates our heart rate. So we should have some nice, a little bit of a higher heart rate here as we are putting in a lot of effort to lift our weight, right? So heart rate stays elevated, cardio, cardio, calories are burning here. <laughs> it is a cardio state here. Um, five seconds here, out in three, you know the drill team, recovery in now. Oh. Come in now. <laughs> Again, uh, dumbbell four chest press coming up. As always, work safely through these movements, team. All right? Be mindful of our form. Be mindful of the weight. Challenge yourself, but most of all, have fun and safe work here. 40 seconds on the clock here. We're dropping back. We're lifting hips. We're working through our chest press. Good. Nice controlled movements on the way up and on the way down. Nice. Again, that glute bridge is a little bit of an additive. Uh, you can drop those hips down and just focus on that glute or that chest isolation. But why not a two for one, right? We are really maximizing the amount of time that we are working through. So that glute bridge really adds in that little bit of a lower body hold. Three seconds, team on the clock. And time, good job. There we go. Dropping one dumbbell, keeping one dumbbell. Eight seconds here. 
Remember, we're gonna try and double our time here, double the amount of reps for our squat clean press, all right? Down into our squat, drive up into our clean, picking up the tempo for round three. Good. There we go. Again, chest stays up as we go down. Driving up. Think about driving up through your heels. Utilizing your quads and your glutes. Switching arms at the bottom of your movement. Good. There we go. Really sit back in those heels. Engaging our glutes. Driving up with our quads. Last two. Finish out your rep wherever it may be and recover. Woo. All right. Good job. Whew. Tyler Berry is blazing through that one. 10 seconds here, we are on deck here with our arm reach complex, if you will, a little circuit. Mixing things up today, right? We've done, here we go, 40 seconds on the clock here. We've done arm reaches before, team. We've done shoulder taps. And we've done toe taps into that high pike why not throw them all at you in one circuit here, right? Breathing does help. Exhaling as you reach. Deep breath in, in between each reach. Seven seconds here, team. Finish this out. Out in three, out in two, out in one. I'm just gonna stay here. <laughs> Good work, team. Good I got work. It from here. <laughs> just kidding, I don't. <laughs> All right, team. Again, 60 seconds here. <sighs> Hydration here. Hydration is key. Make sure to stay hydrated here, team. Good work, BFit Nation. Again, three rounds were in the books. We have one and final round to go. All right, team. So I want you to push. So the best of your ability, whatever effort you have available in this last and final round, let's push here. Now's the time to push, right? If it doesn't challenge us, it doesn't change us. Let's dive in, 20 seconds here, find our breath. Sumo squat to upright row. Coming up, Whew, I'll tell you, this clock on TV really helps us out. <laughs> Good job, team. All right, here we go. All right, team, here we go. 40 seconds on the clock. Last and final round. Find our form. Find our targeted muscle groups. Whew. Let's not forget about our nice quality form as we work through this last and final set of four. <laughs> Good job, team. Good. Good. Remember that one dumbbell? If you had one, this probably should have been... Mentioned it round one. <laughs> Good. Five seconds here, team. Last two out in one. Good job. Way to finish it out nice and proud. <laughs> Shoulders are on fire here. Dumbbell chest press here. Dropping the weight, finding the floor. All right, team. Up in three. Two, one, hips are raised, dumbbells are lowering with control. Exhaling as we push up. Last and final time, we'll see this chest press. If you feel that you are a little lighter on your weight, go ahead and bump up the tempo. Again, nice controlled reps though. Good. Bring those elbows in slightly at the bottom of your position. Feel a lot more comfort on the shoulder. Last five seconds here, team. Penning those shoulder blades into the floor. In two, one, and recover. Drop the weight here. <laughs> good job, good job. All right. Dumbbell clean to a squat. We're up nice and tall here. Squat. Clean squat press coming up in two seconds, team. All right, here we go. Driving up. Good. Last and final time, you'll see this exercise. 
today, right now, unless you double up. That might be a challenge, right? An AM and a PM workout. <laughs> 20 seconds here, go ahead and alternate. Arms out of your rep. Good job. Be fit nation, keep it up. Push through. Sergeant Barry and I, we have you every step of the way. Here we go. Good job. All right, team. Woo. Last and final resistance work there. One more. One more movement. One more exercise here to finish off core work here. All right, team. We're up in that high point here. Two, one, 40 on the clock here. Last and final movement. Last and final round. Sasha Berry, last round. Last round is our best round. <laughs> Always. Always. That's right. Last round, best round. Finishing it out nice and strong. Beat that nation. Halfway there. Push through. No matter how tough it is here. Work through every rep. Keep those hips up at your high plank. Almost there, team. Last five. Ending it with a smile. Out in two, one, and time. <laughs> All right. BFIT Nation catching our breath here. Great work. Yeah. Great work, BFIT Nation. Again, I will tell you, coming in, I was a little sore. Sorry, Barry was a little sore, but kept each other accountable here. That's the benefit of working out with a, power, a partner, working out with our BFIT Nation team, working out with our BFIT Nation, BFIT Live program, right? We're always here with you. We're, we're going through, we're challenging ourselves, we're having fun, and we're pushing through our workout together. And that's what it's about, right team? That's what it's about, right? Bringing the, bringing the community in, bringing our fitness community in together, having a good time, lifting some weight, challenging ourselves, and having fun, all right team? Um, again, Patrick, good job, good morning here. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Way to go, team. Way to push through. It wasn't an easy one, right? It was not an easy one. So way to push through your resistance-based training for today. As always, week by week, we like to change it up. So today may be resistance. Next week, uh, maybe uh, cardio or hybrid, of a hybrid of both, right? Cardio and resistance-based workouts. So we like to challenge ourselves in different formats, in different programs of workout, really challenging and um, executing different heart rate elevations, different targeted muscle groups, but always with this timing, it always is a full body workout. So that's what we like to target here with our, pro, our BFIT program workouts. Sergeant Barry, how are you doing over here? Good. <laughs> you are in kid, not always a challenging workout, but you cannot overstate how important it is to have fun. Right. And like you said, remember to smile. Um, it just makes it so much more fun. So right. it's a fun workout today. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. I like to think that if we smile, right, if we smile a little bit more, it makes things more enjoyable. Um, it's just, it's, you, you burn extra calories. How about that? It, that may not be scientifically proven, but I think uh, emotionally and in a mindset perspective, uh, just being a little bit more uh, enjoyable during your workout, right? It really can go a long way, especially when you're pushed and, and, and challenged with uh, different points that you may not have uh, been pushed with before. So BFIT Nation, good job today. As always, a reminder and a recap here. If you're looking for any additional apparel, um, whether it be clothing, whether it be sporting goods, whether it be uh, footwear or fitness trackers, uh, things of that nature, visit our store locations at your installation, wherever your Shop My Exchange store is. Uh, you know, head up to our uh, main stores, right? Or shop us on uh, shopmyexchange.com, right? That can be a lot of, um, a lot of uh, different uh, BFIT and athletic goods that can be coming your way. Um, Again, and our wellness services have a lot to offer from cryotherapy at some locations, uh, dental, uh, chiropractic care, uh, again, um, hair care, if you will. Uh, and from a wellness perspective, just looking at us in a holistic approach, uh, visiting our wellness services that we have available at your installation uh, can go a, a long way in a holistic approach to our active lifestyle, our healthier uh, lifestyle, as well as our exchange restaurants that we have available at your main store so uh, or at your installation rather because we have more than uh, 1600 plus 
uh, restaurants that you can surf through our menu and look for those better for you options, all right? Uh, don't forget our nutrition and don't forget our smart snacking options at our express stores with our healthier choices, uh, healthier lifestyle uh, items at your express store. Look for that shelf tag that you just saw. Uh, that's going to call out every uh, product that we have at our express stores and our main stores that uh, gear towards that smart snacking options. We take the guesswork out of the equation for you, so all you have to do is look for that healthier choice tag, and that can be your uh, fulfillment of a smart snacking option for you to get you throughout those big uh, healthier choice nutrition, uh, nutritious lunch dinner options that you have uh, selected. So. Um, that's that's about it for us today, Sergeant Bray. Again, uh, um, I think share this workout with your friends, with your family. Keep each other accountable, right, team? Um, let us know uh, how you like the workout. Let us know um, what your favorite movement was. Uh, what challenged you the most? Um, let us know. Right? Sorry, Barry? Uh, any, anything else on your end? Yeah, no. Like you said, let us know because we like that feedback. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, feedback is welcomed, and as always, with 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 BFit Nation, we are a one community team, right? So we're here to support you, um, and and we love to hear your feedback as well. So, with that, BFit Nation, great work today. Um, way to push through again. Resistance training it was not an easy one for today. We had a lot of full body movements, a lot of complex movements available uh, for you today. So share this with your friends, families, coworkers, spouses, all of the above team. Uh, great work today. Great way to start your week, your Monday. Uh, take this momentum and carry it through to the rest of your week. And we will see you again next Monday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. And if you're looking for any additional information, you can visit us online at shopmyexchange.com forward slash be fit. That's going to highlight our gear, our wellness, our nutrition, additional workouts that you may have missed. And all of our catalog is, is under our fit, our Facebook playlist under BeFit. And if YouTube is your uh, platform of choice, hit up our YouTube platform at uh, BeFit, right? That's our full catalog. All of them are different, more, a year and a half more of workouts. So with that team, we're wrapping up here. Uh, BeFit Ambassador Ron Montes, senior my son, Sonny Berry. We will see you next Monday. We are out. Over. <laughs>